Hello everyone, and I think everyone is already looking forward to the leak of new hands that will appear in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. I have some options for what we might be seeing very soon. And let's talk about the Red Slingshot Hand. I think you all realize that the main mechanism is based on the principle of a catapult or slingshot. And just like the gun hand, this hand has a certain number of charges, but what it can inflict is green paint from the balls. But it seems to me that it's some kind of acid that acts on living flesh. Now let's talk about the others. And of course I'm talking about the dash hand. Let's go back to the moments when we need to use the power of our hand to climb up. However, this action is only realized in the vertical plane, which has always seemed strange to me. I'm talking about why the authors still haven't done something similar so that we can move horizontally in the same way. And that's exactly what Dash Hand will be able to do. I'm sure that such an ingenious solution can help us a lot in speeding up the game, and it is also important to realize that with the help of Dash Hand, we will be able to move absolutely anywhere. But there is one very important exception. Dash Hand will be safe for us only when we see this picture of a red hand with a grabber. And if we just touch a random wall and try to move thanks to Dash Hand, of course we will do it, but the consequences will be very sad for us. My personal opinion is that the next hand is the craziest, but also the most interesting concept, and we will talk about the do hand. It doesn't have any super features like the fire hand, but its main feature is to split it into several mini hands. And this is much more interesting, because now we will be able to use three hands at the same time. And agree that sometimes during the passage of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, it was just vital for us to save precious time. Imagine that now we will be able to connect to several transmitters at the same time, which will make our progress through Chapter 4 much easier and more interesting. However, it is important to realize that Do Hand, like all hands, has its drawbacks. And in the case of the Do Hand, it will be useless to us when moving or in situations where we need to turn on or pull something. I think many of you know that, thanks to the Purple Hand, we can jump much higher than the main character can in a normal situation. However, it is not always possible to find the purple marker that makes all this possible, and just to exclude such unfortunate situations and can be introduced winged hand. This hand gives us the ability to jump two times higher than it happens during normal play. But what if in addition to that we have a marker on the ground, thanks to which, when using the winged hand, we can lift so high that even the highest play care point will be an easy task for us? Or I have another suggestion. Maybe the winged hand will have another dizzying feature in addition to all of the above, and I'm talking about flying. Yes, you are right. Flying around the map. Without any mods and just during the normal passage of a new chapter. But there is a catch. We can only use flying once during the whole game, and as soon as the time we can fly is over, the winged hand just disappears and we can never use it again. And in order to recharge it for flight, we will have to find a secret box with a special device, and it will not be as easy as many might think. If I'm right, the winged hand will probably be the most coveted target for many Poppy Playtime players. We have just discussed the winged hand that can help us jump, and what if they add a hand that allows us to run much faster than the player himself? Even if we use acceleration, it can not always help us to escape from the monster, but if we use the speed hand, such a task becomes much easier to implement. The mechanism of this hand is very simple. We just have to put it on, and that's it. Thanks to Speed Hand, we will be able to move around in places three or even four times faster than now, even using acceleration. But again, Speed Hand has its drawbacks. Of course, this hand will not disappear and we will be able to use it from the moment we find it until the end of the game, but at the same time, its charge will be limited. I think we will be able to use Mega Acceleration for 15-20 seconds, and then we will have to wait about a minute or maybe two minutes for the Speed Hand to become active again. And now I want to introduce you to the strongest hand of all the hands that have been in the video and the ones I haven't told you about yet. Meet the strike hand. It may be similar in strength to the power hand, but if the power hand can be used mainly to open and close iron doors, then the strike hand is what we have been missing for a long time. But first we need to clarify that in order to use this hand, we need to use the charging station where we get our wall piercing charges. I believe the maximum number of charges will be five. And after charging our strike hand, we can easily break through any wall and move on. The strike hand can also be used against bosses, and since we already know that this hand will be the most powerful of all, it is likely that bosses like Miss Delight will be easy prey for us. But it is important to realize that even though the strike hand is very powerful, it still has its own durability and it will break after a certain amount of breaking walls. I think the maximum limit of the strike hand will be about 25 uses, after which we can lose it forever. And the last hand for today will be the Healing Hand, which will be the key to a small change in the mechanics of Poppy Playtime. We all know that we can't just get wounded and die after a failure or too close encounter with a boss. What if in the new chapter we can still get wounded and only after 2-3 wounds we finally die? 
and because of this innovation and will appear healing hand, which just like harpoon hand will consist of two parts. Only in the case of the healing hand it will be the hand itself and the heart that will heal us. And to find this hand, we will first have to find the key to the healing box, where two parts of the new hand will be hidden. However, it will always be necessary to remember the charge of our heart, because once it drops to zero, this hand will simply disappear. Therefore, it is important to always think about it and constantly look for different charging stations to constantly feed energy to our favorite healing hand. Well, of course, one healing will be equal to one charge, and since our passage was not too easy, I think that the developers will make the maximum number of charges about four or maximum five. And one of the most interesting to me is the fire hand. If you look closely, you will notice that this hand contains a huge amount of small details. It is important to note that the main feature of this hand is that it can shoot fire. Remember the fragment where we paralyze catnap with an electric charge, and if you think that the effect of our fire hand will be the same, you are very wrong. The whole point of that hand is that we can just scare monsters away or hurt them a little bit, but we cannot kill anyone with that hand. And then there's another reference from chapter 3. The gun hand has a certain number of charges, and then we have to wait to shoot again. And our fire hand will have the same mechanism, but we won't be able to use it forever because the gas we use is stored in a cylinder that will be attached to our back, and once the gas runs out, our hand will just be useless and we'll probably throw it away. Another very interesting discovery will be the so-called power hand. And again, if you look closely, this hand will have the same feature as the previous one with a reference to reloading as a handgun. However, the power hand will still have the same mechanism, and you can see that the maximum charge is 5. Now let's get more detailed. We will have 5 levels of charge, and if our charge will be at 1, the strike power of the power hand will be no different from the regular hand and maybe even weaker. However, we all know that there are doors in the game that are impossible to open, or vice versa, to raise or lower our normal hand, and in this case power hand will come to our aid. Having accumulated the maximum charge, we can easily knock down this door. Or remember the place with the ducks. For us, they were nothing more than scenery that we couldn't interact with. But if power hand had appeared in chapter 4, it would have been much easier because this powerful hand has the ability to move heavy objects. And of course, power hand can also help us a lot when fighting bosses. I do not think it can kill someone big, but it can stun them for a while or knock them back quite realistically. But with bosses as big as Miss Delight, it will be a lot easier because Power Hand will not be able to kill them so much, but it will be able to hurt them very badly. The next hand is no less interesting, the Harpoon Hand. This hand itself consists of two parts, which we will have to look for in Chapter 4. But believe me, this hand deserves that we tried and found both the hand itself and the harpoon, which will actually be the basis of the action of this hand. What is the main point of this hand? An ordinary hand will be no different from the blue hand and will be the most ordinary part of our body, but once we find the harpoon, it will be much more interesting. Just like the fire hand, the main part of the harpoon will be attached to the back of our main character, and the tip itself will be attached to the hand. And there are only two ways to use this arm. Firstly, its main purpose will be faster movement of our character thanks to the ability to attach to the wall and be held in it. Now we won't need special elevators or devices for our arm to fix itself and we will be able to climb up. It will be enough to shoot from the harpoon hand and we will be able to reach any point on the map. I agree that this will improve the game a lot, and of course we could theoretically use this hand as a weapon, but except for a small wound, it is unlikely that it can harm our monsters in any way. Well that's where our video ends. Good luck and bye bye everybody. Bye bye.